no comfort to the bereaved, but it is notable that the heavy roller in the form of, or in the person rather, of Ho Choi Charles and the silver fox, Mr. Pandey, would have left us in the transition from one year 2023 to the other year 2024. But as said, we are bringing you live broadcasts of it and we will show you, give you those images where Mr. Pandey's earthly remains are going to be escorted or transported to the Red House under military escort this morning from Broadway. From Broadway, Port of Spain, it goes on to Independence Square South, proceeding west to Abercrombie Street, then north to the Red House, specifically to the Rotunda Gallery, where it will lie in state in honor for the general public to come and pay their respects. And this is on Friday from 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Now, on Monday, if individuals have not gotten the opportunity to do so, you can do so in the Southland, where it will be at the Southern Academy for the Performing Arts, or SAPA, on Monday from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m., ahead of his state funeral on Tuesday. Now, Mr. Pandey's body arrived in Piaco International Airport from Florida, USA, where he was seeking medical treatment on a Caribbean Airlines flight. Now, on arrival, the coffin was draped in the Trinidad and Tobago national flag by members of the Defense Force. We also have members of the Defense Force, different armed services who are here, some in dress whites, some in full tactical gear, making sure that the procession and procedures go smoothly this morning, paying homage, as said, to the former Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, Basilio Pandey. Now, members of the Pandey family that would have brought their loved one home uh, consisted or included rather his wife Omar as well as daughter Michaela and they were greeted by Foreign and CARICOM Affairs Minister Senator Amory Brown in a Piaco airport. And this is before being escorted by a police entourage to a funeral home in San Fernando. Now, before arriving though, Daughter Michaela would have made the announcement on her father's passing through social media, saying, as we grieve and celebrate the incredible life of our loving husband and the father, Basdeo Pandey, we would like to share that we, along with him, are returning home to Trinidad, the country, and the people he loves so much. Now, subsequent to that announcement, the Minister of National Security advised that the national flag be flown at half-mast until the end of the state funeral service for Mr. Pandey. And that day, of course, being Tuesday, the 9th of January, incidentally, Mr. Pandey would have once served as the Minister of National Security. Now, we see the number nine being repeated, seeing that Mr. Pandey was 90 years old at the time of his passing. And this is two decades more than the three score and 10 that many aspire to. Now, lying in state will be an opportunity for individuals to pay their respects. Now, this includes signing the condolence book in memory of Mr. Pandey, which are opening to signing for the public, reminding you once more that this is possible today, Friday, at the Rotunda Gallery at the Red House, Abercrombie Street, from 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m., also on Monday at supper from 9.30. Now, the office of the Prime Minister, or rather the office of the President, seeing that a protocol list, seeing the President, Prime Minister, and the Chief Justice signing the condolence book first in that order. The missive from the office of the President, the statement said that President Kangaloo is deeply saddened by the death of former Prime Minister Basdeo Pandey. Union leader, politician, statesman, husband, and father, Mr. Pandey, was a giant of a man who led this country with passion and compassion. And we will be looking at the proceedings as we pay respect to this giant of a man who undoubtedly left his mark on the fabric of our society, of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. We actually carry you back either to the proceedings as they are getting ready, they should have been underway already, or we go to, we're hearing that they are coming up. So we'll be looking for some sites of that. So we go to that now.
The fifth Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, Mr. Basdeo Pandey, is now at the Nalis Library, coming upward closer to the Red House, where his body will lie in state for individuals to pay respect. The passageway has been cleared by protective services, making sure that the way is clear to bring Mr. Pandey's body to the Red House but we're doing so with lovely weather, even the weather is paying attention and marking time almost as it were for this, for this occasion. Now, as stated, Basdeo Pandey, a man of many firsts, was 90 years old when he passed. He was born on May 25, 1933 in Princess Town, and I'm saying St. Julian's Village under advisement. Now, he attended the new Grand Government School, St. Julian CM School, Presentation College, San Fernando, and the University of London. Now, the Presentation College, San Fernando, will also hold an event later today in memorial for one of their own. Mr. Pandey was the first Indo-Trinbagonian Prime Minister, and his government was the first in Trinidad and Tobago to be controlled by a party whose electoral base was the Indo-Trinidadian population. He will also be the first former he will, he will form a prime minister to be buried using or using Hindu rites. It is reported that previous prime ministers, Dr. Eric Williams, George Chambers, Arthur N. R. Robinson, and Patrick Manning were all buried under Christian rites. And I'm sure he would approve of the decision to have the homegoing service, the funeral service in San Fernando, being a man of the South, being someone who never forgot where he came from and it is also remarkable to have so many stories come from so many places of the ways that he was not afraid to interact with persons from all walks of life having worn many hats as well being a cane wearer, a primary school teacher at Sirira Memorial Vedic School, Shogonas and the St. Clement, Clement Vedic in Barakpur as well as a civil servant prior to attending university where he obtained degrees in law, economics, and drama. So he, some would describe him as never losing that common touch. Mr. Pandey entered politics in 1966 when he became a member of the Workers and Farmers Party, which also may have heavily influenced his outlook on life, his outlook on how he would have treated with individuals and some of the goals that he would have worked for during his period of service. He was 
also advisor to a number of trade unions upon starting his private practice as a lawyer and continued his struggle for workers' rights when he became President General of the Old Trinidad Sugar and General Workers' Trade Union in 1973. Now, he continued to serve in this position until his appointment as Prime Minister. He was a member of the Third Independent Parliament, 15th September 1972 to the 19th of June 1976 as an opposition senator. His maiden contribution was on the Constitution, prescribed matters, Amendment Bill 1972, a bill to amend the Constitution, prescribed matters, Act 1966. And just looking at what is happening on Abercrombie Street as the procession draws inexorably closer to the Red House, we see individuals coming closer to the curb under the watchful eye of the protective services to pay their respects to the man, the silver fox, the former prime minister, the fifth prime minister of Trinidad and Tobago, looking to see and everyone possibly having their individual stories, the thing that they remembered most about him. And we're very happy to be able to bring you this coverage live at this point in time where the body will of prime minister or former prime minister, Bas Pande will lie in state at the Rotunda Gallery of the Red House.
9 a.m. The outriders of the procession bringing the body of former Prime Minister Basdeo Pande to the Red House to lie in honor in state would have ridden up past and assumed that their positions very aptly the band that is accompanying this morning's proceedings at this point in time is playing none other than my way which is a testament to the man himself the fifth prime minister of trinidad and tobago basdeo pande as his life and legacy is being honored as he is being given a military escort to lie in state in honor today at the rotunda gallery of the red house no once again mr pandy is known for having that particular and personal touch with so many people good bad or indifferent you remember that he did things his way which is one of the reasons undoubtedly that this selection is being used one account of interactions with the former prime minister came from, or comes from a veteran broadcaster tony fraser who said that the last time we met and spoke it was the year before covid the event being a renegade span session in their yard and we greeted each other warmly and i remarked on his good looking health condition that set him off to inform him that it was because he has a clean heart and he doesn't bear grudges against anyone very personable, very charismatic, and we are seeing individuals lining the pavements as they are allowed, because undoubtedly crowd control is one of the things that is being monitored to a degree here this morning. Also reminding you that the body will lie in state for the day at the Rotunda Gallery in the Red House from and general public will be able to view the body of Mr. Pandey as well as sign the condolence book. And this is from 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Now, this gentleman who did the things his way was a member of the Third Independent Parliament. Now, he was one of the founders of the United Labour Front, the ULF. Now, he first entered Parliament, as said, in 1972 as an opposition senator. Subsequently, he became a member of the House of Representatives and has represented the constituency of Coover North in the House of Representatives since 1976 for some time. He was the leader of opposition from 
house, he would have passed through a guard of honor, as it were, by military personnel who would have turned so that the casket bearing the former prime minister's remains would have been faced by them in that show of respect. Looking at the uniforms of each member today, you will see in addition to their normal dress outfit, they are also outfitted with a black band around their left arm. Also looking behind the members of the guard who are carrying the body of the former prime minister, uh, their, some of their cohorts are actually carrying their hats as well. From outside, the members are carrying Mr. Pandey's remain to the rotunda, and we see the, the effort that is being taken to do so in a manner befitting one both with military precision, one that is also functional. So we're looking at those last minute adjustments before the members carry the former Prime Minister's body down those steps to the Rotunda Gallery where it will lie in honor as described by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Foreign and Caricom Affairs, in honor for the day before allowing individuals, members of the general public, to pay their respects to the fifth Prime Minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. And we are still doing so, hearing strains of my way being played by the band in question. We currently have a President and a Vice President of the Senate right behind that guard, as well as other members who are seeing Mr. Pandey being put in a state to lie in honor. As the last strains of the song, My Way, died away, the body of a former Prime Minister, Basil Pandey, has entered the rotunda where it will be placed in state for the day. We are looking at this procedure now, how it will be maneuvered into position, draped in the national flag of Trinidad and Tobago are red, white, and black. And speaking of flags, we're reminding you that flags are being flown at half-mast until the state funeral of Mr. Pandey, which will be the first state funeral that is performed according to Hindu rites once again, Mr. Pandey being a first in that regard.
there is a hushed air of solemnity as individuals, both laypersons and military, are still outside waiting their opportunity to go into the Rotunda Gallery and pay their respects.
So we would have just seen Senate President and Vice President Nigel De Freitas and Esmond Ford, respectively, pay their respects to former Prime Minister Basil Pandey. The casket was opened, even when we looked at the bearers come out from their duties. They would have received their hats once more before filing out of the compound. The Guard of Honor still remains in place as they are there marking the passage of the fifth Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago. Once again, we have the church bells or the chimes of the Anglican Cathedral just adding to the energy of this event today where we have seen the procession, the military procession bringing, or military escort rather, bringing the body of former Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, Basdeo Pandey, to the Red House where it will lie in honor for members of the public to come file, pay their respects, sign the condolence book. Once again, speaking of the condolence book, we are reminding that there was an order of precedence, there was a protocol. So first was the president of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, Her Excellency Christine Carlock. Kangaloo, uh, then the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, Dr. Keith Rowley, followed by the Chief Justice, Justice Ivor Archie, to sign that condolence book. And now the book will be available to members of the public to do so, to pay their respects to the man, to the Silver Fox, looking at what are some of the things that are going place. We should be speaking with some individuals. In a moment, we may be trying to get some views on what they, their, their fondest memories, their most poignant memories of Mr. Basdeo Pande. So we should do that in a moment. But right now, we are seeing what is taking place in the Redonda, the gallery of the Redonda. So we do so right now.
So we see the procession, the military escort making their way off after delivering the body of former Prime Minister Basdeo Pandey to the Rotunda Gallery. And the song is a lot less somber, but no less significant. They brought him playing My Way. They've, they're going off to the strains of wildfire, say a little prayer for the children. And that song itself is very instructive. Now, normally on Independence Day for the parade, we would see the banners or the colors unfurled. Those colors were actually wrapped around their holders and covered on this occasion, all looking at the significance of this occasion as well. But this has been a broadcast, a live broadcast, looking at the procession, the military escort as being paid to former Prime Minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, Bas de Opande. He is laying in state for the day before his state funeral on Tuesday, the 9th of January. On behalf of the entire TTT Limited, we want to thank you so much for tuning in. I'm DK Rasta. Thank you so much.